Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. This is a hard cataract. Let us see management of this case. First, a side port is made and then 90 degree away from the side port at around 11 o'clock, the main incision is done. This is a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. Now, an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue 0 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule. The dye is washed out, before that this is adrenaline. The dye is washed out with BSS using a 23G Simcoe cannula. And now, the anterior chamber is filled off with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Now is the time to do capsulorexis. A uh, uterata forceps is being used to do the rexis. There is some convexity of the anterior capsule. This is a little, you know, some amount of oily fluid came out. So, a mild intumescence is there. Now, see what happens. Here, I inject visco, fill up the chamber again, and do the erexis. Here, it tended to go to periphery at around 3 o'clock, but by a quick pull, I could retrieve the erexis and bring it to the track. And now, hydrodissection is done and the nucleus is tapped and then the FECO handpiece, the FECO needle is introduced with its bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now I am trying my technique, the submarine job technique. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the tip goes through the substance of the nucleus as a submarine goes through water. It goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and stops at the end of the hard part. And now the chopper is used to make a nice crack. Very good crack has been obtained. Now we rotate it on 180 degree, come to the other side, do a deep sculpt, hold on hemineucleus and separate the two hemineuclei completely. And now this hemineucleus is being subdivided into three fragments. This is on fragment and now this larger piece is subdivided into two smaller fragments. And now this three fragments is being emulsified. From the very beginning, the ultrasonic energy used is 85 percent. Flow rate is 48 ml per minute. Vacuum is 480 millimeter of mercury. And the chamber is very stable, a rock steady anterior chamber. There is no such. This is Oatly Cataracts 3 FECO machine. The other hemineucleus is being divided into two. But there is some band joining the two fragments. I am emulsifying one of them and then the last nuclear fragment is emulsified. The poster capsule is far behind and there is no fear of catching the PC in this case. Whenever there is fluctuations of the uh, position of the posterior capsule, like in weak journal, we have to be extremely careful for the emulsification of the last piece. In those cases, we should use the IOL scaffold technique. 
Now, I have used the FACO handpiece to remove most of the cortex. Little bit of cortex is remaining and some cells are sticking to the posterior capsule. So, what I am going to do is, first I remove the cortex at 10 o'clock and now I take the irrigating probe of bimanual IA and the cells that are sticking to the posterior capsule is separated from the posterior capsule by the irrigating probe and then the Simco again goes through the main incision at this time some visco is injected before that whenever we use Simco through the main wound there should be some visco in the anterior chamber so that the we, the fluid does not come out immediately and the chamber does not become shallow immediately. One more thing we should do is we should lift the anterior wall of the main wound a bit so that leakage is minimal. So, cortical cleanup has been done, nice clean posterior capsule and now the main wound is being enlarged to about 3 millimeter because I am using a B cartridge. Now, here goes a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The irrigating probe is used. There is some you uh, know haptic, a portion of the haptic is attached to the optic it will get detached very soon. The side port is closed as the haptic optic attachment is gone now and the lens is more central. Uh, lavage of the anterior chamber is done and the posterior, the posterior chamber means the capsular bag is clean going behind the eye well and the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.